What is going on YouTube? Super exciting. We're starting off August strong. Uh, this is going to be the first episode of my physical reset fat to fit. I don't want to be fat anymore <laughs> series. Um, I want to say to be transparent, I started a few months ago. Um, I was pushing 270 pounds. Let that sink in. I used to weigh around 195, 200 pounds. So, um, humbly, I say <laughs> I gained roughly, uh, 60 to 70 pounds in the last five years, which is sad. No excuse for that. Um, only thing I can do now is just move forward. And from three months ago to now, I weighed myself this morning at around 255 pounds. I'll put it somewhere. The approach I want to have here is a sustainable approach, an approach that I'm able to do for a long time. Like, I don't want to start really aggressive and then kind of give up later on. Yes, I'm going to try to stick to a certain caloric intake uh, day to day. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm thinking somewhere around like 26 to 2,500 calories is safe. I'll probably be showing my macro breakdown somewhere on the screen. And then that that's just what I'm going to stick to for the time being. My workout schedule is going to be three to four times a week. These episodes are going to be like vlog style and obviously recording and documenting my process. So I'm planning to upload a new episode every week. And those episodes are going to be like inclusive of, um, you know, several days uh, kind of jam packed into one episode. So super excited. Uh, peace. So it's the morning time. I haven't done anything. Just woke up, brushed my teeth, logged on to work because uh, today is my remote day. I'm going to weigh myself. But when I started documenting purposes, I started at 255. Forgive me if I look rough. I haven't had a haircut in a long time, but let's just jump on the scale. Okay, 240, 250, <laughs> I wish 240, 254.4. I am going to fast until around lunchtime, get a lift in. Today I'll probably do hypertrophy workouts. So a little bit of arms, a little bit of chest, uh, a little bit of shoulders. I know the last uh, workout you saw was, you know, with my buddies back in Delaware. And um, I did I did bench, um, and so since that was a couple of days ago, I'm kind of just do like some you know hypertrophy auxiliary movements. I'll try my best to record. Uh, recording in the gym lately has kind of been a little bit harder. Five years ago when I was doing this, you know, you could record in the gym and it wasn't a problem. But now because of so many people doing it and all of this social media stuff, and I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. Um, and I don't want to be uncomfortable either. So, um, if the gym is empty, I'll record. I might just like record some of the workouts I'm doing, nothing major. 
As far as food goes today, like I said, I'm gonna be fasted most of the day until around like, you know, one-ish. Macros are 2,530 calories a day. I'm gonna try to hit that. Admittedly have not been hitting that macro goal at all for like all of these months. So I'm assuming that once I start eating that 2,500 calories a day, that my weight is gonna fly up. And then once my metabolism kind of catches up, um, my weight will start to like trickle down. And that's 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 where you wanna be. You, you don't wanna be losing weight way too fast. I wanna be losing around one to one and a half pounds a week. And then we'll just have to go from there. So that's it, peace. So throughout this journey, I'm gonna have four non-negotiables. One, I need to walk at least eight to 10 steps a day, no matter what. The second non-negotiable, making sure I drink a gallon of water a day. I have a 64 ounce tumbler. So I think drinking two fills of that is enough. The third non-negotiable is getting at least seven hours of sleep. Ideally, you want eight hours, but I have to be realistic with myself. Again, my number one goal this whole journey is sustainability. So number three, seven hours of sleep. My fourth and last non-negotiable is to never give up. Even if I mess up or I miss out on the first three non-negotiables or if I go to the gym only once a week or I barely walk or I have a cheap meal or something, as long as I'm holding myself accountable and I'm consistently putting in that effort, that is the most important thing for me. So number four is to not give up. And that's the biggest problem. I think for me, it's been hard to reignite that discipline within myself, which is part of the reason why I started doing this YouTube again, because now it kind of adds a level of accountability onto myself. Cause now I have, you know, however many people watch this, I don't even care if it's one, it pushes me to continue and it pushes me to push myself. The current state I'm in is a product of complacency and lack of discipline, comfortability in my relationship, comfortability in my job. And it's not the best version of myself and continuing down this path is doing myself a disservice. Obviously, there are going to be other things that are very important on this journey, like what I put into my body, you know, what I'm eating, the vitamins I'm taking, the supplements I'm taking, like all of these things are also important, the kind of lifts that I'm doing. But those are smaller details, all important for sure. But hopefully that makes sense. I'm not even sure if that makes sense myself. Anyway, it's hot as heck today. I'm going to put my phone away and the next time you see me, you're gonna see me in the kitchen. Now it's time for my post-workout meal, AKA first meal of the day. I'm having 250 grams of egg whites, a pound of this 93.7 ground beef, four slices of low-fat Kraft singles, and then three slices of this. That'll put me at around 50 grams of fat, 146 grams of protein, and I think 70 grams of carbs, but I'm gonna have the meal summary there. The diet is one of the things that a lot of people struggle with and it's always been hard for me to hit like my protein goals. So my trick, this journey or prep or whatever is going to be buying things that are just gonna make it easier for me. Like this is an example of that. You got these things here 24 grams of carbs, I mean of protein per each tub. And you could easily kill like two of these in a salad and that's 50 grams right there. And there you have it. Nothing fancy, four patties out of the pound. Uh, <laughs> instead of 250 grams, I accidentally cooked 376. That puts my macros from uh, 146 grams of protein to actually around 160 grams of protein. So I'm gonna crush this meal as soon as possible. It's now 
and then hopefully um, I'll be hungry again in like four hours to to eat another you know 1300 calories we'll see Peace. so I had so many carbs to fill for the rest of the day so this is what I came up with I wanted to have more fruit but this is all the blueberries I had so I have about 50 grams of blue 60 grams of blueberries um, toast and some bone mamang bone mamang jelly protein bar I'm at two of those bad boys I'm gonna enjoy them out here throw this toy around for my boy big Caesar Ew. And that's gonna be end of episode one so um look out for episode two i'm gonna do them in weekly increments hopefully as every episode comes out it'll be more and more organized to be honest like i'm still getting in the swing of everything it's probably admittedly all over the place it's raining now but i tried to hit as close to my 2500 calorie goal today i'm going to post my food diary for the day um to see how many calories i was lacking i'm not going to be able to hit it but every day i'm going to try and get a little bit better so at least there's going to be progress every single day so thank you guys for tuning in peace